All right, so just to pressure test and see what the flow through this uh, refractory lance looks like. Uh, I've got this little setup right here. And it's just a air hose pressure regulator. Um, I did put a lower range uh, pressure gauge I had on there, though. That one's 15 PSI, full scale. Of course, this one's up in you know the... 150 PSI range full scale, but the way I've got it set up right now is it's set setting on 2 PSI, just a measly 2 PSI del delivery pressure. So here's what it looks like at 2 PSI. Let me set this here so you can see what's going on. All right, so 2 PSI coming at you. So it's not a lot of action there. If I increase it to 3 PSI, you get maybe a little bit more going on there. If I drop it to the bottom of the bucket, which is probably about, uh, well, it's about 20 inches, so it's probably two-thirds of a PSI, so that reduces the pressure drop quite a bit. And you can see it's actually moving pretty well. Um, you can kind of see the size of the bubbles there. They're not super fine, but uh, let's try to jack the pressure up just a little bit. But if I go to say 5 PSI, you can kind of see it's a pretty good flow there. Um, I don't have much soap in there, so you really can't see see some of the bubbles on that. If I bring it up near the surface, you can tell it's cooking quite a bit better. That's 5 PSI right there. And when I put it deeper, this is probably closer to what the uh, actual pressure it would see submerged in the crucible because it's probably about three times as deep as the aluminum would be. And um, you know, aluminum is just not quite three times as dense as water. So Anyway, but if I jack this up, put this down so I don't drop my phone in the bucket here. If I jack it up to say 8 PSI, you can see I'm getting quite a bit of agitation and flow in the bucket. That would be moving, I think, maybe, that'd be moving a lot of aluminum in, a, in an A10 crucible right there. So, I mean, if I was putting that same amount of agitation through um, the A10, I, that looks excessive uh, to me. So if I bring that up near the surface, you can see that's really, you know, putting a lot of gas into the water there. So anyway, I think this is pretty good news because it says that I think I can get pretty good uh, flow and aeration of the aluminum at a very low pressure. So I'll see if I just back it down to 3 PSI here. You can kind of see the bubbles coming up there. Maybe not quite as good. Oops, I dropped it down too low. <laughs> there we go. I backed it down to zero. There's So there's 3 PSI. And I'm thinking that 3 PSI, you probably can't see the depth of the bubbles coming up there, but I'm thinking that 3 PSI looks pretty good, actually, for, uh, for doing that. And if I pull it out of the, uh, of the water, I don't know how well you can see that, but you can kind of see things. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see things bubbling and percolating there around the uh, perimeter of the lance. So uh, I actually think this is pretty darn good news because it says that I don't have to operate it at anything except a very, very low pressure. So that's a lot safer. So let me try it at a, at a higher pressure. If I'm going to say 5 PSI, let me see how it likes 25 PSI just as far as uh, proof pressure. Hold on, next video.